In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the Paint Code plugin for Sketch. With this plugin, you can turn your Sketch drawings into Swift or Objective C code. First, you have to download the plugin from our website. Make sure that you already have Sketch installed on your Mac. Double click the downloaded plugin to install it. Then open your Sketch document. I'll show you how to export this document to code using our plugin. To use the Paint Code plugin, simply choose Paint Code from the Plugins menu. A Paint Code export sheet will appear. By clicking on these checkboxes, you can choose which pages, artboards, and slices should be exported. You can also choose the platform and programming language of the generated code. Let's choose iOS Swift. If you want, you can also fill out the author, company, project, and class name, but these are optional. To finish the export, simply click on the Export button and choose the directory to which you wish to export the code files. Alternatively, you can also drag and drop the code files directly from the export sheet like this. That's it, you're good to go. However, let me also show you a few more advanced tips and tricks. Let's create some colors and gradients that will be included in the generated code. This will allow your developer to use these colors and gradients in the actual app. First, create an artboard and rename it Library. Next, place a new rectangle inside the artboard. I'll rename the rectangle Primary Color and change the fill color of the rectangle to the color I want. I can also create another rectangle called Secondary Color. And also change its fill color like this. The colors I have just created in this way will be automatically available in the generated code under the names Primary Color and Secondary Color. You can also create gradients and shadows using the same technique. Finally, let me show you how to customize the generated code. You can do this by clicking on the Change Code Settings button in the Paint Code plugin sheet. Here, you can easily customize how the generated code looks. By using code instead of images to draw things, your app will be truly resolution independent. There is also no need to manage all those 1x, 2x, and 3x raster images. By making minor changes to the generated code, your developer can easily create dynamic user interfaces that would be impossible to achieve using raster images. To learn more about how to use the generated code, please watch our second tutorial. Thanks for watching.